A group of young elite socialites took a chartered flight to Maldives, aboard their G6 in the middle of the Indian Ocean, they had an engine failure, and were forced to land on a mysterious island. Fortunately, all eight socialites, two cabin crew, the co-pilot and the captain survived, incurring only minor injuries, but radio signals was to no avail, they survived the first three nights with the food on board, but eventually run out, the captain instructed everyone to scour the island for some food, all of the survivors went to the jungle, and then returned to the crash site, but only 11 returned, the next day, they all went in search of the missing survivor, and for some food along the way, then at the end of the day, only 10 returned, every day, they kept on losing one survivor, until only four were left, three of the socialite men, and a very gorgeous young flight attendant, all four of them decided to stick together to survive, the next day, as they were rummaging around the jungle for something to eat, they saw two unidentified persons at a distance, they tried to get their attention, asking for help, then, all of a sudden, the two persons came sprinting towards them, as soon as they got a good look, they went frantic and run, for they were cannibals out to get them, the four survivors run as quickly as they could, as their lives depended on it, until, one of the three guys stumbled upon a rock, he screamed and cried profusely as he was being eaten alive, they were shocked and petrified from what they had just witnessed, they ran with heaving breaths towards the crash site, so the remaining three survivors immediately decided to build a raft to leave the island, it was already dawn, but they were only halfway through building the raft, then, the cannibals spotted them, and was caught surprised, they tried to fend off for their lives, then went running through the jungle, the flight attendant was suddenly tripped by the root of a tree, and fell to the ground, the two guys wanted to save her, but the cannibals was already on their tail, so they ran, as fast as they can, leaving her behind, as soon as the cannibals reached the flight attendant, both got mesmerized by her beauty, as the sun glistened upon her gorgeous face, she begged for mercy, she cried profusely, and then shrieked at the top of her lungs as soon as they touched her supple skin, the younger cannibal said, father, let's eat her, then father replied, no son, we'll take her home, and eat your mother instead.